Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your daily news update from the Frankfurt office of CMC Markets. The Business Roundtable's CEO economic outlook has been published in the United States. It rose by 4.6% to 74.2%. That is for the fourth quarter and it is the highest mark and the highest reading since the second quarter of 2015. So um, the outlook of CEOs is improving but it's still below its long-term average which is around 79. If you look at the um, positioning of those CEOs and CFOs of insiders, so those who really know where companies are going and might have insider information, those traders need to report upfront what they are doing, um, or at least uh, have to let the public know afterwards what they, how they are positioned. So they um, are selling four times as much shares as they are buying right now. And um, the selling ratio versus the buying ratio has increased since Donald Trump has been elected. So uh, according to the publisher of that statistic in the United States, that is or might be signaling a weakening market that might lie ahead. This week, it is it is really all about the ECB. It's the ECB Super Thursday with Super Mario. And um, yeah, that will lay the foundation for what might come next week with the Federal Reserve. But both central banks might go in different directions. The Federal Reserve will hike rates. The ECB will not hike rates. The Federal Reserve, although they might have problems really giving an outlook for 2017 on monetary policy there because it's uncertain how the policy or uh, to Trump politics will really be. Uh, so it might be difficult for Janet Yellen in the press conference next week to really give any details. But she will say that gradually she will continue to hike rates if Mario Draghi would say anything about tapering. That might be um, too early for the Eurozone because the ECB has not reached its inflation target. Growth is still down. So it might be that those two central banks are at least for half a year to 12 months are going in different directions where the ECB is continuing to um, to um, go full throttle ahead um, with monetary easing while the Federal Reserve is uh, breaking down its speed with monetary policy and is going towards a path of normalization of monetary policy. So that is actually the um, a precursor or might be the precursor for a sudden and strong move in euro dollar which has consolidated over one and a half uh, up to almost two years it's been in a range of 114 to 105 now we are at 107 one, uh, around that so right at the support of the lower bound of that sideways range and so that means that it might bounce off of that support that depends on what Mario Draghi will say on Thursday, or it might break down below the 105, 104, 60 mark, and that support might be broken. And that would mean that there might be the parity coming versus the US dollar.